here with Tri Pedal Reviews. I always encourage you to form your own opinion of the pedals that we review. I am just being honest on what my opinion is, what the pedal does great, and what the weaknesses are. I encourage you to put in the research, watch as many videos as possible, whether mine or somebody else's, so you can make an informed decision. In the description you will find links to the times where the various modes are demoed on this pedal. That way you can click them and get to where you need quickly. Today we are taking a look at the Keeley Electronics Hook Spring Reverb. The the general idea of this pedal is to basically give you a bunch of different permutations of spring reverb. Like many transformers, this pedal is more than meets the eye. When I first started doing this demo, I planned on demonstrating the default bank, which is bank 1, and the second bank, which you access by flipping a small dip switch after taking off the back plate of the pedal. While I was doing this, I noticed that they had a second hidden dip switch inside the pedal for vintage and modern voicings, which gives this pedal a whopping 12 different combinations of voicings. In this demo we will just concentrate on running the guitar through the six modes in modern voicing. I will do a vintage voicing demo in a few weeks, running through the different modes. So what do we have in each bank? On bank one, which is the default bank, we have first up Fugue. Fugue is a Keeley original. Fugue is a full wet octave up and down mess that is meant to sound like an organ. It's kind of gimmicky. I did find sounds that I did like on this mode, however. I've never been a big fan of pedals that attempt to do 
few organ tones, but there are some cool sounds to be had if you experiment a little bit. The next mode we have up is classic spring reverb. This is a great spring mode. It sounds great. This is the bread and butter, get the job done spring reverb. However, there wasn't a lot of drip to be had here. Tone controls the tone of the reverb. Reverb is the ratio of dry to wet, and the spring knob controls how tight or loose the spring emulation is. Next up, we have trem verb mode. This is a tremolo spring reverb combination, looking to emulate the combination that came from Blackface Fender amps. This is a great mode akin to pedals such as a Strymon Flint or Mr. Black Deluxe Plus. The tone knob controls the rate of the tremolo, the spring knob controls the intensity, and the reverb knob still controls the dry to wet ratio in this mode. In bank 2, we start out with the vibro spring mode. This is a combination of spring reverb and pitch vibrato. This mode has some interesting sounds. I'm not a fan of the more extreme settings, but I do like the fact that you can get extreme with this mode. I do like the subtler flavors to be had here. Next up, we have spring plate mode. This was by far my favorite mode on this pedal. It's a Keeley original, a mix between plate and spring reverb. It has increased mix range over the original spring reverb. Their site doesn't mention officially, but I believe the spring knob adjusts the mix between the plate and the spring in this mode. Lastly, we have long decay trem and verb. This is identical to bank one except for the longer decay time on the spring reverb. This, they say, is their most surf friendly mode. I do enjoy this over bank one's trem and verb modes. I think it has a bit more character and range. All in all, I think Keeley hit it out of the park with this pedal. It has very usable tones and it sounds great. Things I would like to have seen done differently. While the internal dip switches are a nice surprise, I am always afraid that I'm going to break those things. Not to mention it is inconvenient to have to take off four screws every time you want to change both the voicing and the banks. There wasn't a whole lot of drip to be had in this pedal, but if you want to play surf music without a bunch of drip, it'll get you there. All in all, I found the pedal to be inspiring. In the future, I may do another shootout between this, the Strymon Flint, and the Mr. Black Deluxe Plus, since one of the modes in this pedal is the same flavor as those pedals. That is my opinion. Take it for what it's worth. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more pedal reviews in the future. Hope you have a great week. Thanks. Bye.